Hi, this is Catherine Rosen with Board Game Geek here at Spiel 2018. I'm joined by Mark Wooden from AEG, and he's here to talk about War Chest, which is actually in a War Chest. Look at that. Look at that. With beautiful bags, some great chips. Looks yep. like a good game, so tell me about it. So, um, War Chest is an abstract, um, asymmetric, medieval style war game. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the things I loved about it, you talked about the, the quality of the components, one of the things I loved about it when it was presented to me, uh, first time here at Essen actually, I saw the pitch at Essen a couple of years ago, was that it, I, I immediately got that sense that this is a game that could have been invented 2,000 years ago. You know, they wouldn't have had the cards to tell you what no, all the stuff does. Maybe it, some stones or something. There would have been stones right? and, <laughs> and you would have had to learn what all the pieces do like you do in chess. But outside of that, it, it has that sort of authentic, almost classic feel. And, and that's interesting because it's a sort of, it shares some of its DNA with chess, but it definitely shares some of its DNA with, I guess what would have originally been deck builders, but is now a bag builder. Oh, yeah, because yeah, yeah. the mechanism of the game is that you, you start placing your units with these coins mm -hmm. on, onto, the, onto the board, um, and then you, you discard coins for various effects, like recruiting extra coins or moving the coins around or taking control of locations. Um, but when your bag, bag is empty, you take your discard pile and you put it back into your bag and you, you and go through it again. On. So it has that continual process. Um, and and the, the sort of the, the skill in the game is the strategic planning about how much you want to recruit into your bag to manage the bag composition yeah, so do you want, versus... You, you want a lot of good things, but you don't want to have too much in there because sure. then you're never going to find the good Exactly ones, right. right. Do you want to specialize in one unit early to try and you know, be like a, a say a scout or the like cavalry to get out there fast and control some locations and then maybe alter the composition of your bag a little bit as they start to get beaten up on and, and sort of consolidate your position or do you want to... Do you want to try for a you know a, a, an attritional army that's going to you know defeat the the opposition through attrition? So there's a number of different strategies that you can employ in the game, and um, there is a there is a technique about which way you decide to build the bag with the units that you've got. Um, so, so each of the units have different types of moving capabilities. Is that how it so works? So basically, every every unit in the game can pretty much move one hex, take control of a location, which are these green Celtic cross, mm -hmm. crosses, or attack an adjacent unit. Ah, and when you okay. attack an adjacent unit, it's like chess, this unit is removed from the game, it's done, it's good. It's quite ah. good, it actually goes back in the box, the game puts itself away as yeah, you play, I right? Yeah, I to say, this, this box is great, it, yeah, yeah. it has a lid that keeps everything yeah, really yeah. well in place. And so this sits on once it's, it's in the really box nice. and, and ties everything down. But yeah, so as you're playing the game, you put the coins back. Uh, it, it's useful because one of the skills in the game is, is recognizing how many coins have been uh, destroyed, yeah, how many have been out on the table? Is how my opponent left? likely yeah. to draw one from the bag and this kind of thing? You, you only play the game with four units on each side in a two-player oh, game. Interesting. Um, and you can only ever have one of each unit on the table. So it's, you're effectively only maneuvering four pieces. But the, the, the interesting thing, again, you see the chess DNA, every unit does something different. And there's a, there's a card for every unit. I've, you know, I've, I've laid some out here, but every unit has its own thing. The Lancer, the one you put forward there, um, unsurprisingly charges so the lancer is one or two hexes in a straight line and then attacks um, so basically every every time you play you'll get a different feel of, for the army because um, it'll be a slightly different setup right slightly, slightly, well slightly different setup yeah we you know we've, we've got some setups in the rules um, just to get you going then we suggest maybe you just deal a couple out at random but the idea would ultimately be that you put eight cards out and then draft Right. So you 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 can try and draft Once an army. Once you start army. knowing what the different, what Once the different you know what the different units are you can units are doing, do, right? and some units, you know, have particular strengths when they're paired with other units. So you might want to draft in a way that doesn't let somebody get both of the ones, or right. Or if you can get or both. Or if you are managing to squeeze them in for your for your own units. Yeah, exactly right. right? Um, and, and like medieval units, they do essentially sort of different things. I mentioned the light cavalry that are very good at moving around the board quickly, right? But you know, the pikemen are a very good. Pikemen are, oh, the pikemen is the one I put back in the box. <laughs> pikemen are very good because when they're attacked, they, they also destroy coin from the attacking unit. So they're quite defensive. They're good at holding a position, as are the Royal Guard. Um, and it, it plays four player as well um, in two teams. Okay. So you have three units so you're each. Working together, and yeah. you're working together like a, across the table, like you would in bridge or something like that. Yeah. You, have a, you have a partner across the table. And, and you play with the extended area of the board, which are these darker areas here. And it works equally well as a two or four player game. Fantastic. 
is, how long does the game typically take to play? Um, I two play a game, I would say probably 30 minutes. Um, a four player game, 45 to 60 minutes. So still like a nice medium weight game? Yeah, 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 medium weight game. I mean, in a two player game, you're only trying to get control of six locations. In a four player game, you're trying to get control of eight locations, and you're playing in a bigger board area. Yeah. Um, so it, it takes that little bit longer. Thank you so much. Okay, nice you're welcome. weighty box, these gorgeous pieces. Yeah, the chips have got a real good sort of, you know. And in its like lovely, it. lovely chest, right? Yeah. The actual war chest for the war chest from AED.